Hey everybody, welcome back to Chef Monica's Kitchen. I'm here with my buddy Salison. Salison, say hi. Pas en français, il ne parle pas français. En anglais, s'il vous plaît. She's French Canadian, so she doesn't speak English very well, so she's shy. Say hi. Okay, good. Bonjour. Bonjour. No, in English. Okay. So Lisa's my therapy volleyball buddy. So we're gonna make an apple compote today. Do you like apple compote? I do too. Awesome. So we're taking some apples that are not super ripe anymore. We're gonna core them out. If you've got one of these handy dandy apple cores, they're really nice to have. If you don't, you can just cut the core out once you've uh, quartered this up. But we're gonna also then peel them. If you wanna leave the peel on, you can. I just don't like the peel in there. To me, it gets a little too uh, toothy. Toothy? Is that toothy. A <laughs> it's a very technical term that I like to use. So I'm gonna just peel all that off and then we're tucking this up. And for every apple, I use about a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of sugar. So I've got the butter in our little saute down there, saucepan I should say. And let me just make sure I cut out this little end here. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't want there, that in there either. So we'll pop that out of there. And then we're gonna just chop this up. You're in my way. You could move over, you know. Okay, fine. That's all right, she's fine. She's just trying to be helpful. She moved over, just like you asked. She's a sous chef now. She's been promoted. Okay, so I'll chop these up and then we're gonna pop them in the pan with our butter and then add our sugar, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of our pumpkin pie spice or apple pie spice again. I like that blend or you can just use cinnamon. And then you'll notice the lemon juice sitting here. So the reason I'm using lemon juice is, as you may well know, once you cut apples, they tend to brown very rapidly. So while they're still gonna brown, the lemon juice will keep them from browning quite so much. Whoa, and I almost dumped the lemon juice. That would've been so awesome. My floor would've been so clean. So glad you didn't do that. I'm so glad I didn't either, because you know I would've made Jeff clean it up. Okay, roughly, oh, I'm gonna say just a couple of tablespoons just to help keep them from browning. It's called acidulating. Very fancy schmancy. Got our little vanilla, a little bit more. Can never have too much vanilla. Our pumpkin pie spice, yeah, a little more than that. I'm gonna say it's roughly a teaspoon, maybe just slight more than that. And our sugar. And then we're gonna stick this on the stove top and this is gonna cook down all the way until most liquid is evaporated and it starts to caramelize and get really thick. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Say bye, Salison. This smells absolutely divine. If you look at this real closely, almost all the liquid has evaporated and there's almost like a little syrup down there, which is just delectable. So um, we'll have to let this cool completely and then you can set this aside for use on a bunch of different things. She wants me to tell you everything you can use it for. Okay, so for sweet applications, you can put it on ice cream, obviously, that's a no brainer. Um, you could also put it on French toast, or you could put it on pancakes, delish. Um, the other thing you could do on the savory side, if you've ever heard of like pork chops and applesauce, this would be delicious on pork chops. Also, a lot of times you'll pair a fruit topping like uh, cherries or uh, cranberries on top of either poultry and or beef. So this would also be really good on poultry or beef. I know that sounds totally bizarre, pancakes and beef, but I swear to God, it works great. It's a juxtaposition of all those sweet and savory flavors, which is also very common in North Africa, which everybody knows that I love Moroccan cuisine. So. She says she totally approves. So go home and make this, and then join me and Salisa another time. Say bye-bye. Au revoir.